Maryland Governor Larry Hogan blasted former President Trump and Republican leadership for the party's failure to secure a red wave in the midterm elections on Friday. Hogan and other GOP political leaders spoke at the annual Republican Jewish Coalition meeting, which started Friday and runs through the weekend, about the state of the coalition party in U.S.-Israel relations. Excuses, lies, and toxic politics will not win elections or restore America, Hogan said. Only real leadership will do that. He said the GOP should have pulled off a huge red wave, but that it was barely a ripple. He said voters rewarded common sense conservatives who focused on issues that people care about, including the economy and crime. But frankly, swing voters took a look at some of our less than stellar nominees and decided that it was just not what they were looking for, he said. Hogan said Trump had several accomplishments during his administration, including cutting taxes and implementing the strongest policy supporting Israel that the country has ever had, but that party has, but that the party has consistently lost in recent elections. He said the 2022 midterms are the third election in a row with a less than stellar performance for Republicans. The 2018 midterm and 2020 presidential election were the first two. If you repeatedly lose to a really bad team, Hogan said, referring to Democrats, it's time for new leadership. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Trump has received blame from many Republicans in the aftermath of the midterms, following many high-profile Trump-backed candidates losing. Many of the Trump endorse, uh, endorsees, including Arizona Republican gubernatorial candidate Kerry Lake and Arizona Republican Senate candidate Blake Masters, repeated Trump's disproven claims about the 2020 presidential election. Hogan has previously been critical of several Republican nominees' 2020 midterms, who were viewed as weaker candidates than some of their primary opponents. He also refused to endorse the GOP nominee for the Maryland gubernatorial race, Dan Cox, who he called a QAnon whack job and a nut. Hogan, who has been rumored to be considering a possible 2024 presidential run as a popular two-term GOP governor of a solidly Democratic state, but was term-limited, Cox defeated Hogan's preferred candidate, former State Commerce Secretary Kelly Schultz, in the primary. So, a lot of what Hogan says I find myself agreeing with where he talks about insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. But the problem I have with his commentary is that he tries to... Um, so one of the things people do when they're trying to not seem entirely alienating is speak positively of the person that they're uh, condemning. You know, he says Trump is behind like these lies and the rest of the stuff. He mentions the... Um, U.S.-Israel relations under him and cutting taxes. It's like, you know, you're talking about, what, two things out of four years of a bunch of stuff that was even... I mean, you know, I guarantee you, if Hogan was sitting up there in Maryland and he tried to praise Trump for his immigration policy, you know, and start talking about ICE, it probably wouldn't go over too well. So he, you know, they pick and choose what parts of their of their records to to sit over here and lionize and, and deify as being very helpful. Uh, but the, you know, this this statement is really interesting because it goes back to this thing of the uh, of being unable to actually speak about particular issues. So where he says, "Oh, uh, we need to have bring back leadership." Well, what what does that mean? <laughs> Excuses, lies, and toxic politics will not win elections or restore America. What, what, what does restore America mean? In what way does it need to be restored? And what is this real leadership that will do that? Because apparently he liked the policies of the person that he wants to, I guess, challenge in this in this uh, primary that's getting ready to kick off in a few months. So what what leadership is going to restore America? And how is it different from Trump's? Is, is it going to be the same on U.S. and Israel relations and taxes, which you apparently liked? Um, I, I'd sure love to know. But that's why I said these people, they do their little mealy mouth stuff and they try to not rub too many feathers because they're trying to, you know, win, win over the same group of voters that they want to <laughs> that they want to condemn for supporting uh, lies and was it excuses, lies, and toxic politics? Like, yeah, I can't wait to run in the primary where the people that vote in it like excuses, lies, and toxic politics. So let me let me make sure I find a way to 
toe the line to get their support.